But there is a man on the phone line right now who would know all about this, and he's about to spill every last thing that Belichick just told the team. He's Dion Lewis here on the Rich Eisen Show from the Patriots. Right, Dion? You, you're, you're ready to just tell us everything verbatim, correct? Uh, n- not at all. Not at all. Can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dion, I'm, I'm thrilled that you're, you're calling in here uh, because I really just love the way that you play the game and your story of how you've come back from leg injuries twice that could have derailed your career. Where, where, where do you see yourself right now, Dion, looking at your journey as you get set to head to a second Super Bowl? Are you sitting back and just taking a look at it sometimes and just marveling where you've been? Uh, no, I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. Just getting ready for this game. You know, it's a big game, exciting game. So just trying to put all my focus onto that and worry about the other ones after we get a win, hopefully. Okay. So where 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 are you in preparation? I mean, can can you at least tell me what meeting you just came out of? Something? Uh, we just we actually just got to practice for like 10 minutes ago. So okay. uh, still going over some early down stuff and just making sure we uh, got everything fine-tuned and ready to go. Okay. Uh, what, what, what does, um, I guess, let's put it this way. What does McDaniels bring? offensively to this situation that uh, apparently the Colts might find out sooner rather than later about what he brings to the table. How has he made you a better player? I know he's a smart guy. You know, he, he does a good job of getting guys in situations where they can uh, excel at. So, you know, he's definitely a great play caller. You know, he, you know he's, he's done a great job this year. Okay. And in terms of your your uh, role in this offense, how do you view it, Dion? Um, it changes from week to week. Um, some weeks I get the ball more than others, or and some weeks, weeks I'm asked to do different things than other weeks. So just got to just stick with the game plan and whatever my role is, I'm I'm gonna do it to the best of my abilities. Okay, and and where are you in your preparation, tickets wise, family wise? What do you what do you got going on right now for yourself? Uh, uh, I got a few people coming. I got about seven people coming to the game, so it'll be a good experience for my friends and family just to be out there and enjoy it with with me. So um. I definitely want to spend it with God, with family members and friends that I'm staying close with, who's been with me my whole my whole uh, journey. So definitely going to be good to have them there with me and and uh, be and enjoying the time with my teammates. Aha! Uh-huh. Now your whole journey. Let's let's just hit that a little bit here. Um, when when you got hurt the first time when you were a Cleveland Brown, where where did you think your career was going at that point in time, Dion? Um, I wasn't sure, you know, because it was my third year. And I haven't really played much up until that point, so I was just trying to didn't really know uh, what was going to happen. I just uh, tried to stay as focused as possible, and I just kept working. And and now, again, we all know that you suffered a knee injury, and you've come back from that from New England. You were drafted by the Eagles in 2017 and 2011 in the fifth round. What was it like being in the organization back then when you got drafted by the team that you're going to try and prevent from winning the Super Bowl in nine days? So- it was great, you know, just to um, get used to being in the NFL my first two years, you know, in Philadelphia. They were great years for me. Um, I didn't have the type of production I wanted to on the football field, but, you know, as a learning standpoint, as growing up into a young adult, you know, it gave me great experiences and um, it was things that helped me till this day. Who put their arm around you and tried to guide you during that process, Deion Lewis? Um, I would say LaShawn McCoy and Ronnie Brown. Um, they were there my rookie year. Um, Ronnie Brown was there as well. And those are two guys I looked up to, and they kind of helped me um, figure out the league. And Sproles is not there yet, right? Oh uh, no, he wasn't there. He was. He came after I got traded. Would you, Would you say it's fair to say you 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 model your game after his in a way? Uh, I wouldn't say that. You know, he's definitely a, he's a great player. But I think we're different players uh, as far as uh, ability wise. You know, he's a great player. Definitely looked at the way he catches the back, the ball out of the backfield. I definitely studied tape on that because you know he's one of the better guys that do that ever in the league, in my opinion. So just try to. Uh, learn from uh, from that aspect. So, who was your guy growing up that you would say, okay, I want to get to the NFL one day because I I, I love this guy, or 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 he was the guy that I I modeled my game after. Who was that guy? Uh, growing up, I was a big fan of Ladainian Tomlinson and Barry Sanders. You know, um, those are two of the greatest backs of all time, and just try to learn as much as possible. Always watching YouTube clips of them when I was younger, just trying to be a better player. So, uh, I definitely uh, looked up to those two guys. Okay, have you met LT? Do you ever cross paths with him? Um, I haven't met LT yet. I haven't met him yet. Well, I can take care of that. I actually did an inter- I did an interview with him uh, last year in the playoffs, I believe. Okay. After one of the games with him and Deion, so but I haven't met him in person. Deion Sanders. Oh, so you got the call? You got the call yeah. from Prime? I got a call a couple of times. A couple of times. Okay. Now, when you get the call yeah. from Prime, you got to take that call. I know that. Oh yeah. Of course. Yeah. Uh, you got to take that call. That's that's one of the calls you can't decline. <laughs> right so. now, now you weren't. 
named Dion because of that. And you don't spell it the same way, but I'm I'm just wondering, is that possible? Uh, I don't know, but it sounds good though. It sounds like a good, <laughs> a good, a good, a good, a good name to have. You know, okay. A football player, and I, obviously, I ended up playing football. So okay, we got that. All right. And so you were mic'd up for the AFC Championship game by NFL Films. Were you consciously aware that you were wearing that mic during that game? Uh, not really. I actually forget. I actually forget about it um, because they tell you like on like Wednesday or Thursday that you're gonna do it, and before the game, nobody really reminds you. So like. I kind of realized, like, halfway through the game, like, oh, I might be cussing a little bit too much, but uh, it's all it's all fun. Okay. And how's Brady doing, Dion? How's he doing? He's doing well. Uh, you know, his time, you know, working hard, uh, preparing like the rest of us. I got to be honest. You know, what, what is it like? Because we all talk about him being the GOAT. What is it like being around him? What have you picked up from him, Dion Lewis? Uh, you know, just his work, work I think, you know, his attention to detail. You know, he comes in every day ready to work. I'm ready to prepare. And, um, and he's a great leader, and he cares about about being great, and he and everything matters. Uh, every little thing matters to him. He always wants to be perfect, and uh, I think that's something that rubs off on the whole team. Well, I've I've played with, I've talked to people and worked with people who played with Ray Lewis, and say they never wanted to disappoint him. That that was part of the pressure. Uh, that the pressure they always put on themselves as a profession is one professional is one thing, but you never want to be the one to, to miss an assignment because you don't want to see that person. Is that the same thing with you and, and Brady? Oh yeah, I think I think everybody on the team doesn't want to um, disappoint anybody, any of our teammates, you know, because we uh, put so much work in together all season, and you know, we we work hard together, and uh, I don't think I think everybody works hard for the the man next to him. So um, we have a great great, great uh, family here, teammate wise, and and we play for each other. All right, Dion. Uh, so you're gonna you're when do you head to Minnesota? When do you guys get on a plane? Um, I think we leave on Monday. Monday morning, I believe. I'm not sure though. I think it's Monday. Monday. Well, you got to be at a. You got. You got to be at a, a podium Monday night. Are you getting a podium? Do you get a podium uh, Monday night? I'm not sure. I had one last year. I'm not sure about this year. They haven't told me anything yet. Dion. I kind of find out last minute. Dion, I find if out everything last minute. We can't take steps backwards. If you got a podium last year, you get a podium <laughs> this year, right? Yeah, hopefully. Okay. Because Gron- Gronk's ready. Is is Gronk at practice? Is he looking good to you? Um, I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, you know, um, right. he's he's been here. He's been around in the building uh, and meetings right. and stuff. But um, I don't really know the situation. I kind of just try to worry about myself and worry about what there I have to go. do to uh, help our team win. In, in other words, do your job. That's what you're saying. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. All right, Dion. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, and when we come back, you'll just stick around and you'll give us the game plan when we come back in 60 right, seconds, right? Yep, no problem. <laughs> Take care, Dion. We'll see you. In, we'll see you in Minnesota. All right. Thank you. Okay. That's Dion Lewis. For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.